being asked to prove that a certain function is not surjective. So in order to do a problem like this, you really have to understand what it means for a function to be surjective. So f from capital X to capital Y is surjective if for all of the Y values in the codomain, capital Y, we can find some X value in the domain, capital X, such that F takes little x and sends it to y. So that what it that's what it means for a function to be surjective. So what does it mean for a function to not be surjective? So f from capital X to capital Y is not surjective, not surjective, if, and now we just take the negation of these quantifiers. So instead of for all y in capital Y, there exists a y and capital Y such that for all capital X and capital X we have f of x not equal to y. So that's what it means for a function not to be surjective. So let's go ahead and prove this proof. So according to this definition here all we have to do is produce a value of little y in the codomain. So this is the codomain and this is the domain. They're the same in this case. It's a pretty easy problem. So we have to show the existence of a y. So let's go to the side and try to figure that out. We need a y value such that f of x is not equal to y. So this is the set of integers. This is the set of integers. So we have to think of an integer such that 3x plus 2 is not equal to that integer. Let's try zero. Why zero? Well, zero is the easiest one to try. So is it possible for f of x to be equal to zero? Let's see. Well, 3x plus 2, could that be equal to zero? Well, if it was, then we would subtract 2. We would get x equals negative 2 thirds. So we should be able to use zero as our y in our proof. So note y, which is equal to 0, is in capital Y, which is the set of integers. And f of x is not equal to 0 for all x in capital X, which is the set of integers. So we're using this here. This is our, our capital X. This is our capital Y. So we showed the existence of a y in capital Y. And now we're saying that f of x is not equal to y, this is our y, for all x in the domain. Now, if that doesn't seem like a proof, well, we can add more to it. We can say something like, if it was, and then prove it by contradiction, then we would have f of x equal to 0, which implies 3x plus 2, because f of x is 3x plus 2 equals 0. So x is equal to negative 2 thirds. But that is not in the set of integers. We said it was, right? So it's not in the set of integers. A contradiction. So f cannot be a surjection. So thus, f is not surjective. So again, to show it's not surjective, all you have to do is come up with one y value such that f of x is not equal to that y value for any x. Um, I hope this helps.